Hello, we are at Pick and Save right now. This is a grocery store native to the Midwest, Wisconsin to be completely honest with you. And I decided I wanted to do a makeup tutorial. It's been a while since I've done one, so we are going to do a makeup tutorial with makeup I found at a grocery store. Pick and Save to be exact. All right, let's go. I'll show you my selections. Here we are. This pickings aren't too slim. I feel like we got some pretty decent products here. See, I see some CoverGirl and some CoverGirl, <laughs> Maybelline, L'Oreal, Revlon. It's kind of like a drugstore, honestly. I am at one of the nicer pick and saves, so there's a bit more of a selection here. So I'm gonna pick up some products and I'll be back shortly to show you what I found. Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. We have a new video underway and if you're wondering, James, why do your eyebrows look so crazy? Well, I'm in the process of growing them all back and they are a little patchy right now and they're a little shiny right now because I glued them down, not with glue stick, but with Pros Aid. They don't sell this at Pick and Save, so I'm cheating this little bit. But you know what? It's my video and I can do whatever I want. So let's get started on the look. First things first, I'm gonna cover up these brows with some powder so that they can set a little bit. Oh, I, should put, I probably should have pulled that off before I started filming, but whatever. Fresh. Yeah, so I'm in the patchy phase of my makeup right now with my eyebrows are concerned because I'm growing them back. I'm tired of like, you know, walking through the airport looking like a mole rat. I shaved them off when I was on Drag Race because I thought it would just be easier and like save me some time. And I was really in like that 90s aesthetic where I wanted like pencil thin eyebrows. And looking back at it, I look crazy as hell. So I want to rejoin the human race. Yeah, okay, that worked out really nicely. Let's cover it up. Okay, so. I could not find a color corrector at Pick and Save, so we're gonna get a little bit, you know, creative here. We're gonna MacGyver us a color correct with the lipstick I'm going to use today. I found this liquid lipstick. It is by Wet n Wild. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, using a liquid lipstick by Wet n Wild. I didn't even know they had liquid lipsticks. But yeah, look at that. Every lipstick container has the same thing now. It's like this little round circular tube with like a little doe foot. I don't know what that's all about. I wish they get a little more creative with the packaging because I always confuse my damn liquid lipsticks now. Literally everybody has this container. But I'm using a coral lipstick to color correct because they did not have them at Pick and Save. And seeing as I'll probably never use this again, I'm gonna use a lot of it. And in case it wasn't too clear in my intro video, Pick and Save is a grocery store here in the Midwest. It's run by a company named Roundies. And yeah, they basically are a chain grocery store that some of them have makeup and some of them have pretty decent stuff as far as where you go. This one was a little better because I live, you know, in an area with a bigger pick and save. So they have a little bit better of a selection. So I lucked out in that regard. And I actually found this beauty sponge at pick and save too. It is by a brand I've never even heard of. I think it's called Cougar, called Kroger, which I thought was like an ice cream brand, but you know what? Sickening, y'all got beauty sponges now. Love that. I love that for you. The sponge actually is not bad. It's squishy and it's soft. I've used a couple of the other sponges from like some of the more other high-end brands and a lot of them are like, <clears throat> like a brick pounding into your face. This one's not too bad. And girl, it was only $3.99, not sponsored. All right, now I'm just doing my under beard area. A lot of this will get covered up by my breastplate, but I'm just gonna do it anyway, you know, just to cover my bases. Okay, and we're gonna set that too. And I'm using CoverGirl clean and professional because they didn't have translucent powder so this is gonna be the best we got it's pretty translucent once it goes on my skin anyway so whatever shut that beard i don't know about you guys but i was gone for about a week just doing stuff like i had to go and film the finale for drag race that was nuts so i had basically dedicated my whole week to prepping for that which i promise you'll never do that to you again i, I probably will but still I'll try not to. So yeah, that was what I was doing. Had to spend all my time and money, you know, focusing on that so I could look my very, very best. And I think I look pretty good. Splicey, splicey picture right here. Okay, let's cover this up. Now I got two kinds of foundations and I don't know which one I'm gonna use today. I got Revlon Full Coverage and I got Maybelline Superstay Stick that also has like a little sponge at the end. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the full coverage though because I think my boyfriend uses this one. And if I recall correctly, I don't think it really worked for me when I tried to use it. So let's do this one because I never tried it before. Ooh, she's creamy. Okay, so yeah, she's pretty thick. Look at that cake batter, that's what I like to see. Ooh, okay, that's gonna work. Yeah, let's spread this out and see how it works. 
Okay, so I learned it's gonna take a couple applications to get the full coverage you're talking about because it goes on really thick, but then when you start to move it around, it starts to thin out really quickly. You know, I feel like I'm gonna beat my face a couple times with this in order to get the coverage I want. I don't know if it's just their brand aesthetic or what, but Revlon always smells super clinical. Like I feel like I'm spreading makeup on with like rubber gloves. Okay, full coverage, she evidently is not because I'm not really seeing it. And it's not really covering up my beard, even like color corrected. Yeah, this is actually bringing my mustache back out. Like it's like canceling out my color correct. Yeah, I'm gonna use the rest of this and then see if the other one will work. Yeah, it does nothing to the eyebrows either. Well, this is a fail. Yeah, so Color Stay Full Coverage Foundation by Revlon. Boot. Let's try something else. We're gonna do Super Stay Foundation Stick. A stick foundation is always good. There we are. Now that's the coverage I was looking for on the first spread. You know what? I should have just stuck to my own instincts and used this to begin with. Let's try and buff it out. Let's see how this blender works with it. Okay, yeah, it's good. The buffing sponge actually works. That's the kind of pancake face I was going for at the first take. All right, I'm gonna use that foundation powder again to set this. This thing sucks, by the way, don't use it. I have cotton all over my face now and it's like bothering the crap out of me. Throw that in the trash. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows first just so I have like an idea of where everything's going. I'm going to use a Wet n Wild Sweet as Candy mini palette, and I'm going to use the brown color that gave you called Transition. Cause it's basically just, it tells you every step, like transition, crease, eye bone, eyelid. And with my eyebrows now, I still leave a little bit of the front out just so I have like a, you know, place to start and go from there and just exaggerate it upward. So if anything, they're actually higher than they were before when I used to shave them off, which is cool because it gives you more space for like eye looks. All right, let's play my favorite game. We're gonna play, will it match? Cross your fingers and toes in hopes that these eyebrows look like sisters. One of my good Judies is Vander Von Odd, and what I secretly admire about her is that she doesn't have eyebrows, and she also doesn't put eyebrows on in her drag, so she never has to worry about symmetricity with that stuff. I found this felt tip eyeliner in brown, and this one is by Wet n Wild as well. It seems to be the recurring theme with this video. They had a lot of Wet n Wild products. All right, I have to say this actually was a pretty decent product, Wet n Wild. I'm not mad at it. And I bet the black one's gonna be really good for doing my eyelids, and I'm looking and searching for new eyeliners because the ones I get are too expensive. I can't keep dropping $24 on a Stila eyeliner. All right, let's do the eyes. I have no idea what I want to do with these eyes, so we're gonna find out. What does it suggest we do? Let's just dig in. Let's do transition in this little black palette. It's a dark ass transition. I'm gonna do a really defined crease today because my eyelashes that I got pick and save are really, really small. So I'm just gonna make sure you see this eye makeup because it's certainly gonna happen either way. I'm gonna use that brown color I used on my lids. Transition with that too. Just gonna keep blending that until I get carpal tunnel. A good friend of mine, Aubrey Del Mar, told me that if your hand don't start hurting from doing makeup, you're doing it wrong. Like it has to be like on the verge of falling off because you blended it so much. Like blend all the way through to your skull. There I go, we want a really dark crease. We want Gloria Swanson. Okay, let's cut that crease. Now, they didn't have any white cream there, so I'm just going to use my foundation color because you can do that, you know? And this one was actually nice and creamy thick that I think it'll work. And as long as I stay with the grain, it'll be fine. None of that back and forth crap. All right, I'm only bringing that down a little bit because I'm gonna put eyeliner here. And I don't want to fight through makeup with an eyeliner and pencil, especially a cheap one. Like why give yourself an unnecessary battle? So I gotta set my eyelid. I'm gonna use the good old Faithful Wet n Wild Highlight and Contour Duo. If you are fans of my old videos, you know exactly what this palette is. Okay, highlight and Contour, let's do that. If memory serves correctly, I think a little bit goes a long way with this. Ooh. Don't miss that. All right. All right, highlight. 
Let's see how I feel if I put blush on first and then go from there. What do I have to work with here? Because I didn't have a whole lot of colors. So I have pink, brown, silver, black. How does a silver look? Well, that's kind of ugly. It looks like doo-doo. This is the suggested eye look that they say I should do. So I'm going to do something crazy on this channel. I'm going to try it. I've already done steps three and four with the crease. So let's do step two and put the pink in the center. Why the hell not? Pick and save is going to get me right together. And when I say pick and save, girl, let me tell you, I really didn't save a damn thing. I would have paid the exact same amount of money I paid had I gone to like Ulta to get all this stuff. I was hoping to find like some obscure makeup that I hadn't really used before. Then other than that beauty blender, I didn't really achieve that. Like this is all kind of stuff you can find at like a Walgreens or CVS and they'll all be like around the same price. Although pick and save, I feel like they were a bit more like they upcharged me a lot more than what I would have paid at Ulta. But I was looking at some of these eyeliners like I don't know if this is necessarily a, a saving. Like I feel like I got this at five below for two dollars. I'm paying six here. This is what I get for supporting local businesses. All right, well, this pink is very faint. So maybe if I just keep packing it on, we'll get some color. What's the suggested look? They want me to do number one on my brow. Okay, so whore is the amount look we're going for. <laughs> Which is fine, you know, I've done that look before. Let's see if I can save it a little bit. I'm gonna use some of the blush on the eyelid now. There we go, the blush is helping a little bit. fall out it's like launched it right at my nose <laughs> why we have the highlight all right and it says it wants me to wing eyeliner so let's do that wing eyeliner that i can do now you're speaking my language and mama she's black i like that she is real real black all right let's do the under eyes so it gets a little more complete look i'm gonna use a wet and wild pencil and we're gonna do our waterline I don't know why I'm doing this to my eyelid. It never did anything to me. God, that hurts so bad. Okay. Oh, my eyes are like watering. This is so painful. Oh my God. Let's do the under eye. All right, we are almost done. Okay, we're gonna break out this white pencil again. Darken up our eyeliner again. Add a bit more dimension to the crease. Make her a bit more drag. Monk that out so it's not so harsh. I can cover up my eye bag that I definitely have now. Some shadow. Make me look like I'm mysterious. And really, I'm just underslept. Yeah, babe. All right, lips. Now, I'm gonna use Maybelline Lip Liner, which I have never used before. It is Color Sensational. In color, Pink Wink. It looks shimmery, so this could go either way. All right. I let it be known that I actually detest roll-on lip liners. I feel like they're so wasteful. Like you go through so much product so quickly. Oh my God, I also feel like they kind of jip you on the amount of product you get. Yeah, and since it's shimmer, I'm only really outlining like this rim here down to my lip so that it casts more light there so it looks like it's like going downward. Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick. Let's see how it actually works as a lipstick. I showed this off before. It's what I use for color correct. I'm also using it as lipstick because I'm like that. Okay, I'm actually not mad at this. This is actually a pretty good lipstick. Whew. All right, we just gotta do the eyelashes, which see how that looks with this makeup. And as I was pulling one pair off, it already stripped away a few pairs of lashes off of it. So, you know, I love that. We're playing with fire here. It's a high stakes makeup tutorial right now. Well, might as well prep my eyelashes. I'm using the classic Great Lash. I'm sure every one of you girls knows what this one is. It's the one we all have in our purse. We don't feel like spending money on a really expensive luxury brand. You always know you can go back to this one. And you'll see I place these lashes high like they're like nowhere near my real lashes. <laughs> Which if you're in a club doing the gigs, girl, you can get away with that. Like when I worked a gig with Meatball, her eyelashes were all the way up here. <laughs> well, like it works because her makeup is so exaggerated. And her black eyeliner is always super, super intensely dark. There we go. Now, like any good makeup or paint job, you want to keep your distance. The further back you get, the better it looks. All right, highlight and we are done. All right, I'm using a Wet n Wild highlighter. Let's see if it gives me that champagne pop feeling. Yes, all right. We got our glow on, we got eyelashes. We're all good, all right. I'm going to go change into my look and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God. Pick and save. We had to have a talk. 
Okay, see, let's start with your name. Pick and save. Well, I didn't really save a whole lot here, guys. I have to say, like, a lot of these products, you can find it like a Walgreens or a CVS and probably find them a lot cheaper. So if you're in the Midwest area, I mean, unless you're really in a fix and you have to have your milk, eggs, and eyeliner, then that's really the only situation I could ever see you having to shop there for makeup. <laughs> I will say there were some products I discovered here that I probably would not have picked up had I not been forced to. Like for starters, this Wet n Wild lipstick was actually really cute, as well as the Wet n Wild eyeliner. Like the brown one and the black one were actually really, really good. I might actually start incorporating this in my actual makeup repertoire because it's cheap. Like this is like three bucks and also it gets a good result. Like it's really, really dark. Now there were some products that were total duds that I was not truly a fan of. For starters, this CoverGirl powder stinks. And the cotton round that comes with it is like shed city. Like it's all over your face by the time you start using it. I kept like <laughs> the entire time while I was trying to set my makeup. So, you know, the powder is decent, but there's better stuff out there. And this one, you guys saw me work through this problem. Revlon Full Coverage Foundation, trash, no. It was not full coverage. If anything, it was full patchy. So yeah, other than that, the products that really worked out, like this guy, holy crap. The Maybelline Stay Stick. This is like, it reminds me a little bit of the Max Factor Pan Stick back when they used to have that. Like back in the drugstores, that's what all Australia Queens used before you can get your hands readily on like Krylon. And this one, if you like really packed it on, you get the same effect as like a TV paint stick, which is fabulous because it's readily available. It's about the same price, so it's not really a whole lot of winning there. And with Krylon, you get a bit more, but if you have to have something in a fix, this will drag. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Pick and Save. I would say skip it. There weren't really a whole lot of products there that you couldn't find anywhere else. And honestly, there wasn't a whole lot of savings either. So this is my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad to be back with you guys. Oh my God, a week feels like three years for me. I promise I won't do that ever again. Oh my gosh. And don't forget, I do have some collaborations I have done this week. I've done a movie nights with Allison Pregler, so check that out. We reviewed Barbed Wire. Me and my boyfriend Ernie also did a new series, Double Tap That, so be sure and check that out on his channel. Like my hair? Click my link down below and see how you can purchase a wig styled by me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Click here and see me style a $3 Goodwill wig. Or see me style and slay a ponytail using Allie's sugar hair. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll spoil Game of Thrones for you. Spoiler, they all die. So just click it now and watch this instead.